Earl wanted me to show you another thing. He's um, sitting there. He knows I'll need to use both hands. Um, this is something that I always did in my classrooms. And I always started all the reading when we were ready to read after we had all said hello. And it's just a simple gong. And um, one of my teachers actually used an app to find out that this is the key of A. So um, for you musicians out there, or people who know keys, that's pretty awesome. But the way we used it, um, and the way we're gonna use it today, is we're gonna listen to the sound and see how long we can hear the tone. And it really lasts a long time, but it's like you're listening to see when the tone ends. So are you ready? Because we're not gonna say anything in the meantime. Here we go. Did it go away? Did you hear it? So we always started all of our book readings with that. And then we would have, a lot of times I would do it in the middle. And so just for this one, let's do it one more time because it'll be the end of this little part of listening to sound. One of the things I also like to do is I like to think of it as kind of see what it feels like to you. Sometimes it's so crisp. It sounds like snowflakes. And so you just think of snowflakes and then you see them melting. Or you can feel, sometimes I move it around and there's a little bit more of a wave sound to it. But let's, let's just do it again where we hear the sound as long as we can hear it. And then that will be the end. So usually what we always do, and those of you who are in the classes, remember, we'd start with the beginning. We do that beginning. And then at the very end, we go the ending, the end. So let's do the end and see how long it lasts. Good chime. Thanks for listening to this beautiful sound with me. I'll see you next time.